Hello friends in this video we are going to discuss an important topic of android retrofit and rest api the agenda of our video will be learning about retrofit and then json place holder that's an fake rest api that we are going to use in our application and then we are also going to develop an android app here you can see the screen of our android app that we are going to develop the whole text you are seeing is fetched from the internet by the help of rest api moving ahead so let's start android studio click on start a new android studio project click on next give the name for your app fit demo select language as kotlin and minimum sdk 24 click on finish the project is being loaded so please wait so the app is built now we have to add some dependencies in the gradle file Yes of course the dependencies will relate to retrofit and json so we will search on the internet about retrofit open the first search result and then we are on the website and we will find here the word gradle and copy this whole part then paste it here also we have to press alt and enter so that we can get the latest version that is 2.7.2 press enter again now we have to search for JSON, G S O N. So here we have to copy this, and we will write here implementation, and then we'll paste here, and then we have to add the version. So we'll use colon. and it's 2.7.2 on the time of recording this video file in android section here we have to add the java version and that kotlin supports the java compilation so we paste it here We have pasted it successfully. Now we will click on sync now. I have provided these lines in the description of the video. If you have the same problem, then you can copy the same lines from the description and paste it to the Gradle file of your app in the Android Studio. So now we again click on the run button. and install the app so our dependencies are added successfully now we have to go to manifest file and we have to add the permission of using internet uses permission internet 
and we'll close it. Perfect. Now we have to create a model class so we will right click here and then select new and then Kotlin file class that is class model and we'll press enter so we have to use it as a constructor so we'll remove this braces and add constructor now as from the api that we are using in our application we have to take some attributes so the attributes i am showing you again the attributes we'll go to google JSON placeholder and click on the first result then go to the resources part and select the post so here you can see that the attribute ID title and body we are going to use so we will create variables first of all we are going to use id that is of type integer and then its title and its type is a string now here we are going to use an annotation called serialized name this annotation is used to give the alternative name for the attribute given on the api website in the application so we'll use it serialized name now we'll give the name of the attribute which is given on the website of the api that we want to change it in our app body now we'll give the different name that will relate to body so m body and of course it is of type string so we have created this class successfully you can see that there is no error only warnings are there now we have to create a interface let's create an interface so let's create an interface we have to give the name of the interface we are giving the name as json api click enter you can see that the interface has been created here we are going to use the get annotation which is provided by the retrofit so let's firstly take that address of the api from where we are fetching the data and placed it here now in our interface as we are using the get annotation we also have to make a function called get info that will call the list of the objects of model type from the api so we'll create it fun get info call list of model type so we'll go for alt and enter again 
center now we have to use that annotation get and we will have to give the end point name of our API so here you can see that this is the end point post we have to write it here all okay now our interface has been so now we are going to our layout that is main here we are using only one screen that is only one layout so we have to make change in it and we are going to use the same text view only we will increase the size we will give us 21 sp now we will give the id and we will give the id as txt user all ok we have to also change the layout so let's change the layout to linear as we are getting the data from the api we'll also have to add the scroll option in our application that's why we changed the layout and we'll have to add the orientation of the layout as vertical now we will go to our main activity and perform changes and adding functions here so first of all we have to make retrofit builder so let's add it retrofit and retrofit dot builder add converter factory we'll use json converter factory here all ok we'll have to create it now we have to add the base url and now we have to give the url so just copy it from the https we are copying the base url the url before the end point that is post we again go to the main activity and paste it here remember that you have to add a slash after com and it is very necessary then we just build it call the build done now we will have to create the object of the interface that we created previously api retrofit create json api class jump now we have to call the function that we created in the interface with the help of the object we created previously call cross the list model now the function is get info after that we have to call the nq give object here use call back now give the same list and model and open it
as you can see we have to implement the methods of the NQ both the methods so here the two methods have been implemented now first of all I want to talk about the on failure suppose for some reason your data has not been fast from the API then it will come into on failure now we will give the log of error here if you are getting error here then press alt enter to fetch it now the second method is on response if your data fetching is successful from the API then use the data here so we have to print this data in the text view of the layout first of all we will create a model for the response body and now we'll give the Kotlin spatial exclamation here for null pointer we are using a string builder now for every element we'll use the for loop Model. and we are going to use the string builder and will append the strings and we are going to use string builder to append the strings first was title in the next line we will copy it paste it and in place of this we will give the new line we will give id here same new line again We have to give the body and body again we'll provide two new lines here for the ease of the output on the screen of the phone now we have just to give it to text user that was a text view id that we created in activity main you can see that it's id is text user again we go here so before adding the text to the text user text view first of all we are adding the scrolling option to our application so that we will be able to scroll the screen for that we will use the movement method scroll scrolling movement method it's okay now we will assign the text to the text user it's pretty easy in Kotlin as compared to Java we just give the word text and then okay provide the string name okay so now we are going to run our android app so we'll click on the run button